certain that particular vehicle or vessel ablaze is completely uh, uh, out of 2023. It is something that should happen in uh, maybe 1440 or 1450. This is 2023. We are talking about ozone layer depletion. We are talking about Nigeria not having all the money we should have for our welfare. And then you burn off billions of naira, multi-millions of dollars worth of crude, and then in the process, poison us. It's completely unacceptable. It is something that has to stop. The federal government, the presidency has to issue an, a quick order that they should stop uh, uh, burning or wasting our resources in that manner. And in the process for those of us in the Niger Delta, as you burn it, you are polluting us, you are destroying us, you are killing us, you are destroying the entire envi environment. What is the difference between uh, uh, any other vandal and then the authorized uh, uh, vandals in this particular case? Because setting that quantity of, uh, of crude oil ablaze was as good as, as asphyxiating the entire Niger Delta. And uh, you, uh, you, won't, you, you may not believe it, but several persons are going to die out of asthma and such uh, diseases in the next couple of days. That is a fact about it. And then, of course, if you want to properly prosecute, there is no excuse to say they change name somewhere and then they change name somewhere and so on and so forth. If you know they change name and you have grabbed the evidence, it is for you to follow international standard manner of uh, investigating and prosecuting. Going in this crude manner of setting the vehicle ablaze is not good enough. Of course, the vehicle is going to eventually sink and be in that waterway and constitute nuisance to fishermen. Of course, the fishermen have to be Niger Delta fishermen. And they also constitute nuisance to fishermen, constitute nu nuisance to those who use the waterways forever. So I think that that was not necessary. 